Colleges in all 50 states have active coronavirus cases. More than 40,000 COVID-19 infections have been reported among students, faculty and staff at colleges and universities nationwide. On Wednesday, UGA reported more than 1,400 COVID cases in just the last week. CBS 46's Brittany Edney tonight with efforts to keep everyone on campus healthy. In the college town of Athens, some things never change. You still have to pay for parking. And everywhere you go, go dogs! Sick and boo hoo 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 hoo. But that bark might be a bit muzzled by the latest and nearly standard school supply. The mass mandate just around the whole county is really great. Um, I didn't have that back home, so I felt really safe coming here. Maybe a way to do like a virtual kid event. A student organization meeting takes on a new look. They're just so much more at risk. But they're still keeping space between themselves and other small groups. They have a lot of like sanitizing wipes and hand sanitizer stuff out. So I feel safe when I come to campus for class. Still, campus numbers are going up. The latest data from UGA shows 2,600 total infections in the past four weeks since fall semester started. There are a lot of people like going downtown and doing the party scene, which I think is a lot of like where the virus is spreading. I haven't been going downtown and everything. That's where I like don't feel safe. Obviously, um, a ton of people are out there without masks and everything, so I'm not partaking in that. Waiting and hoping the virus expires soon. UGA isn't the only campus where the meter's running, so to speak, on COVID numbers. Since March, over at Georgia Tech, there have been nearly 900 confirmed cases of COVID-19. In Athens, Clark County, I'm Brittany Yedney, CBS 46 News.